Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new here, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the brand Grateful House, and I'm gonna be trying out this puzzle here, and then I'll be giving you my first impressions and final thoughts. Uh, just to clarify, um, this is not at all sponsored, and I purchased this puzzle with my own money on Amazon. Um, so let's get started. So first things first, who are Grateful House? Well, they are in a family owned business and according to their Instagram account, um, they seem to be fairly new to the world of puzzles having only released their first range of puzzles earlier this year in May. Uh, however, before that, they seem to mainly focus on being a homewares lifestyle brand. Um, either way, whether it's homewares or puzzles, they project a message of positivity, which I think is really cool. Um, at the moment, they have quite a few beautiful puzzles available, but it was uh, this range by the artist Dolk, I think I'm pronouncing that right, that really caught my eye. So this puzzle here is called Welcome Back. Um, there's three in this particular series, um, and so there's two others and they're all limited edition. I think um, the best way I could describe this art style is sort of realistic surrealism. Um, each of these three puzzles has like a lot of depth and like beautiful colors and a lot of little details and sort of particularly surreal details. Um, yeah, at the moment, uh, Grateful House doesn't have a website, but all the puzzles are available to purchase on Amazon, including Amazon Australia. So uh, next I'm going to be unboxing this and seeing what I think, um, what my first impressions are. So let's get started, shall we? All right, let's get unboxing. So um, first thing I notice is, oh, so this came shrink wrapped, but I've taken that off. Um, but yeah, what I notice is this is a, quite a sturdy little, little box. Um, it's got part of the image and the logo on the front. Um, yeah, it's just really nicely designed. Um, so it has the amount of pieces, which is a thousand, and the logo, the title. Oh, and apparently this is number three out of the three in this series, which I didn't realize, but now we know. Um, yep. Yeah, so it's got uh, the information printed on all three sides. And, um, oh, and on the back it has the full image plus a blurb about the artist. Um, yeah and a bit of social media info, a few other bits and pieces. Um, yeah, the other thing I noticed about this box is it's got a really nice sort of linen finish, like sort of paper linen finish, so it feels, feels really nice quality. Um, yeah, feels pretty luxe. Do definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. So I think, you know, first impression of this is like, it would make a really beautiful gift receiving this. So let's open her up, shall we? Ugh. There we go. Oh, okay, so what have we got here? Oh, okay, so the first thing I notice on top, it's a little bit squished. Um, enclosed is a gift card for you to keep or give. Oh, that's cool. All right, so it's actually, seems like an actual gift card, like something you could give away for a birthday or something else. It's just, it's, what do we, let's open it up. Uh, need an assistant. So, yep, just, oh, okay. And according to this page, it comes with a warranty. So scan the code and you can register your warranty. And on the back, it's got a little thank you message um, and more social media details. So that's cool. And yeah, and then what looks like a sort of recycled brown envelope and the full image as a card. and. It's just blank inside. So yeah, that's kind of that's that's kind of a nice touch. I haven't seen that before in any other puzzles, so that's cool. I mean I guess you could even like frame this or yeah, whatever you want really. And then okay, what have we got here? Okay, so this is the puzzle pieces itself which come in this uh non recyclable plastic. Um but that's okay. I mean that's pretty normal. Um, from what I can see, the puzzle pieces look like they're linen finished, but we'll open this up and have a closer look a bit later on. 
And then, okay, so it also comes with a zipper fabric bag, like a sort of canvasy kind of bag with the logo and the artist's name printed on it. Um, I've seen, I've got a few other puzzles that come with these bags. Normally the pieces are actually already in the fabric bag and not in the plastic, so that's interesting, but I guess maybe some people would prefer it to not come with like the extra, like excess plastic. Um, so I could see that being an issue for some people. Um, personally, I'm not too bothered. I mean, especially if there's a little bit of puzzle dust, I don't know yet, but that means that at least a lot of that puzzle dust is going to get thrown out with the plastic and it's not going to end up in your nice, nice fabric bag. So I don't know, I guess pros and cons with this, but, but yeah, I like the bag. It's, that's a nice touch. And it looks like we also have a poster in here. So let's check that out. All right. Ooh, it's pretty big. So that's cool. Whew. Okay. Hang on. Oh, there, there she is. Yeah, so that's a really huge, great reference um, reference picture poster. So that's cool. Or you can stick it on your wall later. I'm, I don't normally do that. I normally just yeah use them for the reference. But yeah, it's nice and big. So that's great. Especially because there's a lot of details in this. Like you've got a little tiger, which I didn't even notice before. Um, like little skulls, tiny birds. So that sort of stuff I just didn't see. I couldn't see that detail on the back of the box. So having this post is really good for that. Um, especially down here because it gets quite dark at the bottom of the, the page. So having the poster will help me to see those finer, darker details. So yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I'll open up this bag and then we'll have a quick look at the puzzle pieces. All right, so I've got my scissors and Let's cut this open and have a look at some of the pieces. I love that sound. <sighs> so satisfying. All right. Also, I don't know, this is really random, but I always keep the plastic bag until I've placed the very last piece of the puzzle. I don't know, I just have paranoid that I'll be missing a piece and it'll be stuck in the corner of this bag. Does anyone else do that? Is that just me? Um, yeah, so let's see. They fit, wow, these are really quite thick actually. They feel really nice. Um, not seeing a ton of puzzle dust, so that's pretty good. Like, I mean, there's a little bit, but like not, not a ton. Um, yeah, let's have a look. I mean, these are pretty, pretty, not super thick, um, but like they feel, they're reasonably thick. They're pretty sturdy. Like you definitely can't bend them easily. Um, so on the back side, they have just that sort of grayish plain cardboard. So there's no like paper backing or anything, which I actually prefer this because I find like paper backing, although it looks nice or you can put a pattern on it, it does tend to peel off sometimes. So I actually prefer when pieces are just simple like this. And then on the front side, um, yeah, like the box, it's got that sort of little, that textured linen finish. So. It's very low gloss, um, which is great. There's nothing worse than having a super glossy puzzle where you can't see, where you have to like lean to side to side to see what you're actually puzzling. So this is great. Um, but yeah, so first impression of the pieces, they just yeah, feel nice, great quality. Um, just looking at them, there's nothing that looks bent or damaged. They all look like they've survived pretty well. Um, and the colors are really lovely actually, like you probably won't be able to see this from there, but they're actually just these sort of beautiful, like grungy muted tones. Um, they match the box image quite well. I actually think the poster might be, look a little bit more vibrant. I'm not sure. We'll have to sort of see as we do the puzzle, but yeah, they just look really nice. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful color palette. I really like it. Um, from memory, the other two puzzles are sort of similar. Um, yeah, I guess let's get, I think we might as well try out the puzzle and get puzzling.
So it's been a couple of days since I last worked on the puzzle and I thought before I get stuck into it again, I might as well give you my thoughts on what I think of it so far. So the other night I spent a good few hours working on it and so I think that's plenty of time to have a good idea of what what the puzzle is like and what the puzzling experience is like. And so far I've only got positive things to say. Um, I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to get back into it. And uh, yeah, so first things first, pretty much zero puzzle dust. Like there's like hardly any anything here. So my sinuses are super happy about that. And um, the piece fit's been really great. Like uh, there haven't been any false fits. Um, they've been going together, just clicking into place nicely, not, not too tight not super loose um, so like for example I've got this section here which as you can see I can pick it up pretty pretty easily like so that's great like that's a really nice fit um, which means you know you can do a section close to you and then when you finish working on it you can just sort of pick it up without it falling apart and put it where you want which for me with my short arms is really good because <laughs> it's hard for me to reach across puzzles or you know, especially larger puzzles. So it helps that I can work on something close to me and then be able to move it later. Um, and you know, you can still like pretty easily pull the pieces apart without no damage. So that's great. Like I can't stand it when you're trying to undo a puzzle to put it away and it's like the pieces are so tight that you pretty much have to like punch out each piece to try not to damage it. So this is great that it's like just a really comfortable fit and yeah, it gets the job done. Um, and I guess like uh, the feel of the pieces is just really, like it just feels really high quality and really nice. Like every time I put in a section, I just want to smooth my hand over it. It just feels so nice. So, you know, you know it's a good puzzle when you, you just want to touch it all the time and you can't stay away from it. And of course, the other thing is the image. It's turning out beautifully like I'm really enjoying seeing it come together and the colors are really beautiful like um, normally I have a lot of vibrant colored puzzles that I work on but I just love the colors of this one it's it's so beautiful like the gradient here is really nice and um, I don't know it's I guess the colors are in this puzzle and I think the other two puzzles have more of like a vintage like a faded muted vintage feel so I I really like that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Like, yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far and can't wait to get back into it. Okay, so now that I've finished the puzzle, let's have a bit of a chat about it. Um, overall, I think it was a really positive and enjoyable puzzling experience. Um, I just really had a great time with the puzzle. The image is beautiful and the piece quality was just excellent. Um, definitely no complaints. Um, I love the sort of linen finish and the no gloss finish. I love that there was barely any puzzle dust and yeah, it just, just feels great. Great to run your hands over. Um, and not just that, I really like the whole, I guess, puzzling experience. So there's the beautiful box that it comes in, really like sturdy, good quality, would look great on your puzzle shelf. Um, yeah, really nice. And of course, I love that it came with the giant reference poster. That's fantastic. Um, another thing I like 
was the reusable zipper bag. I always just think that sort of adds a nice like touch of quality, um, but also, you know, it's just nice that it comes in its own bag. You don't have to put it in a Ziploc bag. You don't have to worry about finding something to put it in. So yeah, just really nice. Also, I guess if you're traveling and you don't want to take the box, you could just pop it in this and then shove it in a suitcase or something and it'd be fine. And of course, the other thing that was nice was the gift card and the little thank you note. Just thought that was a really nice touch. Um, you don't usually see stuff like that in puzzles. So I feel like that just made it that extra bit special and really brought the sort of feel of quality and luxury up a notch. Um, yeah, so overall, I really enjoyed this. Um, now let, let's talk price. So um, on the US Amazon website, uh, these retail for $24.95 USD, I believe. But however, I bought this from the Australian Amazon website and of course it's gonna be more in Aussie dollars. So I think from memory, this cost me about 35 or 37 Australian dollars. Um, and from what I've seen, the other two tend to be about that price, but sometimes even up to 45 Australian dollars really just depends on what, what our currency is doing at the time. So um, I think that price does tend to be a bit more on the higher end of puzzle prices, although definitely not the highest by far. I've definitely seen puzzles that are $50, $60 for the same sort of piece count, that kind of thing um, here in Australia. So this is definitely not at the far, the top end, um, but it is, you know, more than your average Ravensburger puzzle or something like that. However, I think, you know, for the really nice quality and all the bonus little items you get, all these nice touches, it is definitely worth that. I think you get a lot of value for your dollar. So yeah, I would totally, totally uh, recommend buying this, whether it's for yourself as a nice little gift, um, you know, especially if you're a puzzle collector and you just want to have a really, I guess, aesthetically pleasing puzzle collection, this would be perfect. Um, or, you know, if you're looking for a gift for someone, this again, would just make a really nice gift. Um, I could also see this being a really nice piece for people to hang on their wall afterwards, if that's the sort of direction you want to go. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this and yeah, I, I enjoyed this so much that I may have already ordered the other two off Amazon. So anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this, um, review useful and informative and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and for more um, puzzle content you can check me out over on instagram at jigsaw underscore juby see you next time bye okay let's try this Woohoo! What do you reckon, Misty?